Hi, my name is Amber and this is my August haul. So I got, hi, how you doing? I got a good amount of books this month. A lot of them are just repeat buys that I wanted different editions of books that I've already read. I figured I'd go through everything that I got this month. The first I have here, The Adventures of the Wiener Dog Extraordinaire Crusoe. I ended up reading this this month, so I will talk about it more in my wrap up. I was gonna put these here and you kinda, you kinda you ruined it. Uh, next I picked up Dream and Sun volume 6. Um, I have been reading Dream and Sun a lot this month so I will talk about more of my feelings and thoughts on the series as a whole in my wrap up. And then next probably my most treasured possession this month was Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. This is the third book in the Once Upon a Con series. Again I read this this month and I will talk about it more in my wrap up but everything I've read from her is always fantastic. And I even today in the mail got the book plate that you could get when you signed up for the pre-order of Bookish and the Beast. Next I have the first volume of My Hair Academia. Love the show. I need to catch up on it. I'm very much behind but I have never read the manga so I decided to go ahead and pick up the first volume and hopefully dive into that sometime soon. Next are a giant stack of romance. First I have A Prince on Paper by Alyssa Cole. This is the third in the Reluctant Royals series. I read A Princess in Theory which is the first book this month so I'll talk about that then. This is another one that I found in my used bookstore and couldn't say no to picking it up because I do want to continue on the series even though this is the third book and I need to read the second one first. Next I have Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. Simple story of a girl who ends up bumping into her celebrity crush. Sounds really odd and interesting and fun so I'm looking forward to this. Next I have Undercover Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. This is the second book companion book to the Bromance Book Club which is a book I absolutely adored. It was fantastic. Loved it so I'm really excited to read the second one even though I have heard a couple of mixed things so I'm a little nervous. Next I have Would Like to Meet by Rachel Winter. From what I know this is just based around the idea that the male main character is trying to write a screenplay that he needs to write. He won't because he doesn't believe that rom-coms are real or that that kind of situation can actually happen in real life so the only way he'll write it is if our main character can actually prove to him that that is something that could happen. Next I have You Deserve Each Other. This is by Sarah Hogel. This is a story about a couple that is, they're about to get married, but they're both kind of hiding the fact that they're miserable in this relationship and don't want to be together anymore. Once they both figure out that the other doesn't want to be together. So they're pulling these pranks that whoever ends the engagement first will have to pay the non-refundable bill for the wedding. But of course, shenanigans happen and they end up kind of becoming closer because of this. Next are a bunch of books that I got because I wanted different editions of books that I already own and have already read. First is volume two of Scott Pilgrim. This is the full color edition. Love Scott Pilgrim. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it, but I really wanted to own the color editions. Next, I picked up the OG cover of Throne of Glass. Not a good cover, but I just feel like I needed to own this. I love this series so much and I just, I like having this as an addition onto my collection. Next, another Sarah J Mass book was the paperback to A Court of Wings and Ruin. Just one that I plan on having for rereads or if I want to annotate or write in it or anything. This is my book that I'm okay with destroying. The last rebuy was Spin the Dawn. This is by Elizabeth Lim. I loved this book. I adored this book and I'm extremely excited to read the sequel eventually. Again, in my used bookstore because that's where I buy all of my books. And this is the Owlcrate exclusive edition. The wording is gold and then the spine is gold. Also came with a couple of prints. One that has a letter from the author on it and the other has just a quote from the book. It is also a signed edition. Edition. Next is The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Just an author that I enjoy a lot and I've only really read her paranormal based books, so the Lux series and uh, the first book in the White Hot Kiss series. This is just one of her contemporaries and I've never read a contemporary from her so I really want to try and branch out and read more of her books because I always enjoy her characters and her writing. Next I have Other Round is a book that I've had my eye on since it came out and just never got around to picking it up. Pretty much just a story of two characters from different kind of time periods or universes in a way. One of her characters can see into the mind of another character. Basically it just kind of takes over his entire being and all he does is see what she's doing and eventually ends up realizing that he can control her and speak to her in a way through this. Very weird, very interesting story but I'm excited. I know there's disability rep in here as well as LGBT plus rep in here so I'm excited and looking forward to this. The next two 
I picked up for the readathon that is currently going on as I film this, and that is for Summer Ween. The first was My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I have not read this yet as I'm filming this. I'm about to start it today, which I'm very excited for. It's pretty straightforward based on the title, Friend is Possessed. That's all I need to know. I think it's very 80s themed from what I know. The next one that I picked up was Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This is a haunted house story. That's all I want to say without spoiling it. Basically, it's very haunting of Hill House. If you like that show, you'll probably like this book. I did finish reading this last night as of the time that I'm filming this. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. Let's just, we'll keep it at that. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. And we're getting close to the end. Next, I have Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is a dystopian apocalyptic world, monsters, monster hunters. That's pretty much all I really know about this. It is another one that I've just been wanting to pick up for the longest time. And then I have Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. And I feel very confused all this time later finally holding it. I'm both excited and nervous to get into this. Next I have Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. Zombie book. That's all I know about this. That's all I need to know about this. Next I have the first volume of The Wicked and the Divine graphic novel series that's really well known and well loved that I honestly couldn't tell you anything about. I know that it's mythology based. Picked this up for a readathon for next month that I will talk about more in my TBR for next month. And then finally we're at the end. The last book that I picked up in the month of August was first volume of Space Boy. Uh, this is a graphic novel that I have been curious about. First time seeing this was on Witty Novels channel. I think it's gonna be just cute and fun. That is my haul for the month of August. Let me know any books that you guys have picked up this month in the comments down below. That's the end of my video and I will see you guys next time. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I really don't. <laughs> We're gonna hope that a thumbnail came out of that because I'm done. I'm just, I'm done.